Hi, it's Przemek here, and today I'm very happy to walk you through an amazing feature that we've made for Cubase that extends our dynamic focus tracking functionality. So you'll be able now to switch your grids uh, based on the selected track in Cubase. So far you were able to switch it to based on the active window, you could switch it to with incoming MIDI and uh, from your keyboard, uh, computer keyboard, and from Apple scripts. But now uh, the grids can change on Metagrid Pro based on that selected track in Cubase. And that's an amazing feature. And this will enable you to make Metagrid Pro more context aware while working on various projects. Let me start and let me walk you through this amazing feature. I will be using a, a very simple project with just three tracks. On my iPad, I've got uh, our wonderful Cubase MIDI grid that enables you to control various aspects of MIDI production based on custom presets and macros that we've made. Apart from that, I've got two additional grids, and that's another great news for today. We've started cooperating with uh, Richard Davis, amazingly talented composer and producer, to bring some add-ons for popular sample libraries. And uh, I've got uh, CSS cellos, and also I've got Cinematic Studio Wood, Woodwind solo flute here as an example. So as you can see, these grids look amazing. They are highly functional, using all the bells and whistles that you can uh, get in Metagrid Pro, like uh, snapshots, like a uh, um, switches, and and uh, more to come. Uh, so that's just the um, um, sneak peek into what we are doing, what we are busy with. Uh, we will be launching first add-ons very very soon, but I will use these as examples uh, to show you how to switch grids based on the selected track in Cubase. So in Cubase, I've got our three tracks, cellos, flute, and synth. So in Metagrid Pro, go to Content Manager, and uh, and uh, let's start from the cellos grid. Okay, I'm going to swipe right, tap Edit, and there's a section called Dynamic Focus Tracking. You should be familiar with that so far. Uh, so you were able to paste the title, but also we uh, have added the uh, button Paste Track. But uh, first of all, remember to enable this uh, focus, Dynamic Focus Tracking functionality for this grid. Now, okay, and uh, in my Cubase project, I'm currently at the Cello's Track, so I'm going now in Metagrid Pro to paste it and uh, the track name is um, automatically fed to Metagrid Pro. So this means that every time I go to the track that contains cellos, uh, now this grid is going to be uh, displayed. Now let's do the same for the flute grid. Okay, again in Cubase I go to the, uh, I select flute and I paste the track. Here I am. Okay. And uh, I, um, dynamic focus tracking is enabled, so I'm done. And uh, Cubase MIDI, what to do with this? I want this Cubase MIDI grid to display any time uh, Metagrid Pro doesn't find a grid for the selected track. So currently I've got cellos and flute and uh, the synth track. Uh, I don't want to assign any grid to the synth track and I want to display the MIDI grid for that, right? So I can say, okay, uh, this grid is going to be universal for all the tracks that I don't want to have a specific grid for that. So I'm going to set it as default, all right? And uh, here I am. Now, uh, another thing that we have to remember, and that's quite important, is that uh, you have to go to settings in Metagrid Pro, go to Meta Server, and remember to enable focus tracking. All right, so uh, this has to be enabled to, to uh, let Metagrid Pro know that uh, yeah, I'm going to switch the tracks, switch the grids based on the incoming uh, traffic from Meta Server. Right. Now, there is the moment of truth, whether it works or not. Here I am. So I'm changing tracks in Cubase. And uh, as you can see, Metagrid Pro reacts, displaying these wonderful grids made by Richard Davis. Thank you, our friend. They are amazing, and we can't wait to, to push them to the users. Now, what if I've got several cellos track in my project, and I want this grid to display any time I select a 
track for cellos. So I've got cellos 1, cellos 2 and cellos 3. So as you see now, when I change the tracks, uh, cello 1, 2, 3, I've got the same grid displayed on my iPad. Why? Because um, we have defined cellos in dynamic focus tracking. So every time MetaGrid receives the message that uh, you're currently uh, on the track with cellos in the track name, then MetaGrid Pro displays this particular grid, right? And uh, what if I want to display this grid only for the track named Cellos 3? And for the other Cellos in my project, I want to keep the uh, um, Cubase MIDI grid. So now I paste the track name. Now it's Cellos 3. So Metagrid Pro is going to uh, look for the track with, with this particular string in the track name, Cellos 3. And now Let's look at that. So I'm on Cellos 3, I go to Cellos 2, and now I've got Cubase MIDI. When I go back to Cellos 3, I've got my Cellos grid displayed, right? So that's, that enables you to use one grid as a universal for several tracks with particular string and the track name, or you can uh, make one-to-one -one relationship and display a particular grid just for one track. It's very flexible and powerful. Dynamic focus tracking also works on the scene level. I have created three scenes in my uh, Cubase workspace. So I've got a MIDI scene, cellos, and flute. And so I can uh, easily switch between them manually with my finger. Now, I want to switch the scenes based on the selected track now. So I go to the scene editor. Here I am, I've got three scenes here. Each scene has got dynamic focus tracking section. So I enable um, this parameter for all the scenes here. And uh, again, I want to replicate the same behavior. So I will set um, the default scene, the MIDI scene as a default scene here. And for cellos, I, again, I'm going to paste the track, but now um, cellos too, I'm going to just select the cellos to make this um, scene universe of all my cellos tracks and for the flute I'm going to paste uh, sorry uh, my mistake I have to go to the flute track and again I'll paste the flute okay and now uh, when I switch to the flute track Metagrid Pro automatically selects the flute scene on the sidebar and when I go to cellos again I've got the cellos track and when I go to synth, I've got the default MIDI track. So if you've got your, if you want to have your scenes automated, uh, you can use this method. And the scene switching has a priority over grid switching. So basically, first, Metagrid Pro is looking for the uh, scenes to switch, and then if uh, Metagrid Pro doesn't find the corresponding scene, then it's looking for the grids with that match this particular. Um, track name. So here we are with our new fantastic integration between Cubase and Metagrid Pro. Thanks for watching, I hope that you're going to love it and you will find it useful, and see you soon in the next video tutorials. Bye!